across Alberta, energy sector workers and, and just people in general are coming out in huge numbers to, to protest the fact that for too long, the left in Canada, who is now in government, both at the federal and provincial levels in Alberta, have essentially promoted an agenda that is taking away their jobs. And I have to just say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much to all of the grassroots people. Um, and I want to you know, give a big shout out to people like uh, Chad Miller with with Oilfield's dads who have just been coming out and organizing these grassroots protests. You know, there's there's a line when every person goes enough is enough. And I think, you know, if you're watching from the rest of Canada, you know, Albertans, you have to understand that we just want to work. I mean, like we've we've been happy to be part of confederation, equalization payments, all of these sorts of things as long as Canada supports our right to work. I mean, you have to understand that the energy sector produces so much wealth for Canada. Like anybody who, who thinks that it doesn't is crazy. I mean, between equalization payments, the tax revenue that it provides to fund things like hospitals and roads in Ontario and Quebec, Alberta has been supporting Confederation for a really long period of time and many Albertans are very proud to be part of Canada but what we hate is when leftist elitists try to tell us that our province has dirty jobs that we shouldn't we should be transitioning off of this dirty industry and like and then meanwhile sitting in cottages you know uh, sipping champagne uh, after they've driven a car to get there that's been fueled by Saudi oil and on a road that's been built by equalization payments and that's the thing like that's that point where Alberta has gotten to right now it's the enough is enough point of these people who have absolutely no understanding on the economics of how equalization works or how royalty payments works and how they benefit the province. They have absolutely no understanding on how the energy sector works and the fact that Canadian oil is some of the most sustainably produced energy in the entire world. Uh, the fact that most of you know the energy that is used in cars, et cetera, in, in Eastern Canada comes from countries that have dictator regimes where you know women are treated like junk and garbage and then they sit there and try and tell us like oh you know you need some skills retraining and oh you know why why don't you have a more sustainable industry and your jobs are so dirty and like you, you, like people have had enough so i just i just want to thank everybody who has come out you know, even if you're not in Alberta, has come out and and has supported these rallies that are happening. And I was so excited to read this morning that there's a convoy planned to go to Ottawa. This is awesome. I think that every CEO of the energy sector needs to support this. Um, frankly, these rallies have done more to support the energy industry uh, than some of the oil and gas industry associations have. Like, you know, I, I've watched as a parliamentarian some of these associations basically try appeasement tactics with Justin Trudeau. And, and what has that gotten us? Nothing, no jobs. So I, I just want to thank everybody who's taken part in this. And um, I'm just really excited that this is this is this convoy is planned. So, you know, if you're if you're watching and, you know, if you're having some downtime this week or over the weekend and, you know, you've got a friend who's like, oh, well, you know, Alberta, you know, their jobs are dirty. Well, like they should be going to like the green economy. And, and then they're sitting there after they've taken an Uber that's been filled with Saudi oil or, um, you know, again, driven on a road that's been paid by what? I mean, there's been a lot of gains that have been made in Alberta's energy sector to make it some of the most sustainable, clean production in the world. Uh, I mean, Canada has, and in fact, almost 75% of Canada's electricity is produced by renewable sources. Canada should be a global energy super uh, superpower in terms of producing energy in a sustainable 
ethical way. Yet we've got these crazy lefties who are telling us that we shouldn't be able to take our product that we produce here to to, to market and in, in markets around the world. And who does that benefit? It benefits the Saudis. It benefits it benefits Venezuela. And instead we should and, and you know frankly every day that we have a price differential on our oil because we can't get it to market because of these you know these protests and and you know unfounded protests those are hospitals that are being built in the u.s you know look um i just want to thank all of you keep going out to these protests keep organizing them they're being noticed and um i'm just so excited that you guys are planning to bring one to ottawa that is great I, as we go into the new year, as we go into uh, 2019, we've got a lot to fight for this year. Um, this is, again, going back to what I said earlier, this is the enough is enough point for a lot of people in this country, but certainly on behalf of my constituents, many of whom work in the oil and gas sector, I just wanna say thank you to all of you who across this country from coast to coast to coast who support uh, their their right to work in a very responsible industry. Um, thank you. And let's get her done. Let's get her done in, in 2019. Let's get these lefties out of government and uh, let's get back to being prosperous and free in Canada. Working hard for you. Have a great day.